Hello everyone, welcome to my project ideas channel. Today we will learn how to make a math game using Arduino. So let us begin. So for this, we need one Arduino, one small breadboard, one LCD screen, two push buttons, three resistors and few connecting wires. Now let us see how to connect the circuit. So let us see first of all how to connect this push button. First of all, we will connect the first terminal of it to this 5 volt power supply of this Arduino. Second one will be connected to this GND pin of this Arduino through a resistor. And the third one will be connected to this 10 and 11 number pin of this Arduino at the digital side respectively. So in this way, our two push buttons are connected. Now let us see how to connect this LCD screen. So we'll connect this ground pin, contrast pin and read and write pin of this LCD to this GND pin of this Arduino. After it, we will connect the power pin of it to this 5 volt pin of this Arduino. And this register select and enable pin will be connected to this 2 and 3 number pin of this Arduino respectively. After it, we will connect this DB4, DB5, DB6 and DB7 pin of this LCD to this 4, 5, 6 and 7 number pin of this Arduino respectively. After it, we will connect the LED anode pin of it to this 5 volt power supply of this Arduino and the LED cathode to this GND pin of this Arduino through this resistor. So in this way, our circuit is ready. Now let us see the code. So this is our code over here. First of all, we have initialized, included one header file, liquid crystal library, LCD array is declared with the speed numbers to which this LCD is connected to the Arduino. After it, we have initialized two variables, which are the options of the test A and B and these are the P numbers to which this, pu this push buttons are connected. After it, we have declared one variable A which will take the input from the user and we have initialized one more variable score to zero. Now in this void setup function, we are beginning the serial connection with 9600 bits per second and LCD begin to 16 rows, I mean 16 columns and two rows and this A and B pin mode for the input purpose are configured respectively. Now in this void loop function, first of all, we are clearing the screen, setting the cursor and printing the text in the LCD and using this delay function, which takes the time in milliseconds. Over here, 2000 milliseconds represents the two seconds. In the same way, after it, again, we are clearing the screen, printing the next question. We are giving the time of 5 seconds to the user like first of all this is our question 5 into 12 equals to 144 is it true or false this push button represents a and b this uh, this one will represent a and this one will represent b so here it is true so if the digital read means this will read the uh, value from this user if first push button is pressed means its value will be high so A will be high. So after it, we are also printing it in the serial monitor. And if A will be high, we are increasing the score value by 5. Again, clearing the screen and printing the answer to the user. Again, the next question will be asked. It will remain in the screen for 5 seconds. And in this way, further we will carry the another questions in the same way. And at last, we will print the final score to the user. Now let us see how exactly it will work. Let's play game. So for it, I'm clicking on start simulation. Choose the correct answer. Yes, it is true. Yes, it is also true. Then this is, no, this is not true. Yes, it is false. Then this is also false. Yes. Uh, this is true. This is true. Yes. Now this is, I think, true. Yes, it is also true. Yes, this is also true. Yes. Yes, I got final score for 30. <laughs> so in this way it will work. Thank you.